when we do a rotator cuff repair or when we do shoulder surgery, one thing that we often will do is what's called a subacromial decompression. That we call it SAD, right? Subacromial decompression or subacromial decompression. And the SAD means that we take the chromium, which is this bone up here, we do subacromium, so below the acromion, we do a decompression, which means we have often have this little bump here, actually over time can pinch this rotator cuff over and over and over, and that's one of the ways we get a rotator cuff tear over time, right? Degenerative changes or degenerative tearing means that there's not a specific traumatic event, it's just ultimately it fails because this pinches here and here and here. Most surgeons do when we do a rotator cuff repair for two reasons. One is we want to take this bump away, so that's the decompression, which means we decompress the space and take that away so there's more space. But also, just like when we do a rotator cuff repair, we kind of clean up this bone because we want to make sure we have a good bleeding bone, good growth factors, healing factors. The subacromy decompression, we have the same slimmer process where we get more healing factors. We take that bone away. When it takes and opens the space up, which is good, and two, it brings nutrients, it brings healing factors to the newly repaired rotator cuff. So that's what a subacromial decompression. Maybe you might get your operative report, or maybe you'll talk with your surgeon and you'll look at the consent that you sign that says you're going to do a rotator cuff repair and you're going to do a subacromial decompression. And you go, what in the world? Well, that's why, because a subacromial decompression, we often do with a rotator cuff repair to help enhance that healing.